This will be a quick demonstration of using eMarking Assistant to mark an assignment using Microsoft Word. We've already downloaded and installed the 30-day trial of eMarking Assistant from eMarkingAssistant.com. We can open up the Word document. You'll see that I'm using Microsoft Word 2000. And 10, but we could use any version after Word 2000. We can see the eMarking Assistant toolbar by pressing Alt F8. When you're marking an assignment, quite often you'll notice that you make the same sort of comments on a number of assignments. Here, for example, the student should have included an in text citation. So we can highlight the piece of text, come down, Academic writing need a citation here, and we can insert that comment in the margin, and you'll see the comment has been inserted. We might scroll down, we'll notice another comment that could be made here. The format of the reference is not correct, so scroll down, insert it in the margin. You'll see the comments can be quite extensive. This one includes some text, some graphics, and then a link out to a supporting website. We might decide that we want to create our own comments, and we can do that very easily as well. I'll highlight a piece of text, come up to insert a blank comment, insert it in the margin. Excellent point. We could also insert audio comments, highlight a piece of text, insert it in the margin, and this will open up sound recorder. This is an excellent point. You might want to mention it in the discussion forum and then close the comment. We could add some text. The student could simply click on this icon. This is an excellent point. You might want to mention it in the discussion forum and then they could hear that comment. If we wanted to reuse that comment, we could just highlight it and then select save as a new reusable comment audio comment and then that would be available for me to use in the future after you've created your comment bank you might decide you want to export it to send to other markers to do that simply select export comment bank the other marker can then import that comment bank and they will be able to use your comments eMarking Assistant contains a number of other tools. Quite often students will pick a word and they overuse or incorrectly use that word and you want to highlight that. To do that, highlight the word and then select highlight and you'll see that particular phrase is then highlighted throughout. You might decide that you're interested to know something more about a phrase or where the student might have used that phrase before. Highlight the phrase and come and do a Google web search. And that simply opens up your web browser and then does a web search on that particular phrase. Many people will use marking rubrics as a way of helping them assess a piece of work. I've inserted a marking rubric here as a comment and I'm going to insert that into the assignment. You'll see it's a traditional marking rubric with grading standards listed across the top. Fail, D, C, B and A. Then we've got the percentages. Down in the rows we've got the marking criteria. Each of the criteria, so the one counter argument is worth a maximum of 10 marks. And then the performance standards for each of the eMarking Assistant makes it very easy to use these. Click in the cell, click on the eRubric tab, and then select it. And it just highlights that particular cell and records the mark, which in this case is 77.45 out of 10, or a C. I can increase the mark by pressing the buttons, or I can use function keys, so F5 will decrease that mark right down to a file. I can select the other standards very easily and once I've done that I could press F8 and get the total. In this case 48.7 out of 80, 60% or 12.2 out of 20. If I change the 
number of to the total number of marks for this assignment to say 10 and change the assessment of course I'll need to press F8 and then it will recalculate the mark in this case we get a D you could then include some general information on e-marking for the student click at the end of the assignment click insert e-marking information at the end and that just includes some general information to tell the student how their assignment may have been marked. Once you've marked the assignment, you can then save it. I generally save it by putting the mark in the file name. If you wanted to, you could also email the assignment directly back to the student by clicking the email link. And that just opens up an email, attaches the assignment. A 30-day trial of eMarking Assistant is available from eMarkingAssistant.com.